This is the Winter Games 2023. Be sure to like the video, subscribing is great as well. So on the Series X, what are we getting in this triumphant championess of sport? 4K, 60 FPS target, uh, local multiplayer up to 4, and a wide range of disciplines for you to play. Pick from a range of countries, and then choose to just do single disciplines or go in and do like full competitive events. So what's always interesting about these, uh, I call them Olympic-esque experiences, is they need to be a collection of different kind of games, which is always hard. You know, it's, it's very difficult to make a bunch of different games within a single package, right? Because, oh geez, oh. Uh, essentially, you know, when you can focus on one type of game, it's easier. But when you're making multiple different versions of different things, you know, some stuff gets uh, sort of cut up. And that was always the problem with those Olympic games is they tried to pump out, you know, for the Olympics and whatnot, was the fact that you would... Uh, I was trying to do a speed up. You, you, you would essentially have... Go, 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 go! These, these situations where some of the games aren't as good as the other games because some are more complex and, you know, and they're trying to get all these different sports that they can. And uh, this one actually doesn't do too bad of a job in regards to having a wide range of different activities uh, within the 3D modern visual setting. So, you know, from that perspective, it's actually kind of interesting. At least I think so. You know, that they've put together this package here. And like I said, you can play it locally with others, depending on the particular mode. And it does actually look decently fine. Like they got like curling, short track, bobsled, ski cross, like kind of a little bit more sort of niche type game modes as well. Like different types of modes and games and sports that you wouldn't see in other games. And I think that in itself is actually kind of impressive to a degree, right? Like it's neat to have these different options together in, in one package. And as I was saying, like visually, it doesn't actually look that bad either. It's kind of an, of an impressive offering, I would say. Ready. Let's go. So yeah, I think, you know, for some, this is gonna be a neat sort of like sporting option that you can go with. Ow. I think you're supposed to touch them, aren't you? I thought that's what this was. You're supposed to touch them. Isn't there like a flag-based mode like that where you're flag-based mode? A flag-based sport where you're supposed to touch flags as you go down. I could have sworn that was a thing. But yeah, you know, I, I think they cover a good quantity of like countries, a good selection of different sporting things. You know, whether or not you're going to find this interesting is up to the individual really, but you know, for having like basically a compilation of little mini games, sporting activities you could take part in, it's not bad. You know, I did say it was also targeting like 60, it's definitely like, you know, it's got some frame issues here or there where it doesn't perfectly hit them, but I, I think, the, I don't know if the target audience for this one will, will care as much either when it comes to this sort of thing, but yeah, you just kind of come in and play some of their sports, because I don't think there's really, I can think of any like curling games to my knowledge that really exist out there, so it's kind of neat that that one has, uh, this one actually has curling built in. Because curling actually is kind of an interesting sport to watch, just to throw that out there. It's kind of intriguing. I check out the Canadians playing it during the Olympics, I always recommend it. And it's nice that I can do the whole Canada thing here, right? I got the Canadian flag going on, little maple leaf icon in the top right corner going up the track. I don't know, it's kind of a little bit of a nice touch. <sighs> oh, I missed that one badly. Not a bad runtime, though, I'd say. Not bad. Go, go, go! We've got to get there faster. But I, I think if they continue to maybe build upon the foundations here and add more sports and, you know, kind of just tweak and adjust things with future iterations, it actually might be a pretty intriguing little franchise thing to watch. Because I can't think of anything really hitting this niche out there. How did I do? Not good. Not good. Not good enough. Anyways, should we try curling or should we go for another action-packed 
sort of thing. The two women bots bobsled. Let's do it. Bobsledding is actually crazy to watch. Like just straight up crazy. So there's ten dynamic winter sport disciplines included here. Go, 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 go. And it's all kind of like... I don't know how to describe it. it it's all fairly simplistic to play, if that makes sense. Like, the controls aren't... Uh, you know, you're not doing, like, crazy stuff, if that makes sense. You know, it's just light interactions light engagements with what's going on. It just makes it a little bit more accessible. And again, it's amazing that this even exists really in a game, because I don't think we've had too many Olympic-type games in a while. Like, I think they did a summer one not too long back, but they went all, like, animated, so... You know, kind of the realistic Olympics packages we haven't really seen in a long time. It's just too complicated to make too many games that look decent and, you know, provide an enticing package for people, I think. Wow, we are really moving. I think it's like a lower frame rate as we go down here. This is what was going on there. I can't tell if that's just like a gameplay feature. Oh, look at the dark sky and everything. That was pretty good. We're number one. Go, 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 go. Hmm. This is really, really quite interesting. Because if you don't know about you know, basically the bobsled, you're just like two people in like a little metal thing going down really sharp ice as fast as you possibly can to get the best time. And like, you know, this is obviously perfect conditions, but when you do the real Olympics, you know, if it's like a warm day, if it's like, you know, all this stuff can greatly impact your speed and the potential and, you know, it's, it's a very, very dangerous, fast paced sort of thing. And it's kind of exhilarating to watch because it's done so swiftly you know, like a minute for a run or something like that. Like, it's it's just absolutely just, woo, speed to the max. Finish. Wow, we whipped by there. I think we even shaved off time of the last run. Canada, Canada. Number one. We did it. For a country. My first gold? <laughs> I feel so... Like I've done bad at every other sporting event for that to be the first time I got gold. Curling! Time to throw some rocks. Alright, let's do this. Very hard! Very hard! It's like they're setting up a rock. Anyways, it's kind of a cool little package, right? Like, I like winter sports. I love the Winter Olympics. From Canada, this is what we do. So, you know, it's neat that you could do, like, a local little mini Olympics thing, which would be fun. Okay, I'm kind of hoping I lightly, I think I hit it too hard. I wanted to like lightly kind of tap that one out and just kind of set up almost a guard here. And that actually kind of helped them a little bit. But it's still early, we're just we're guard setting up. <laughs> 